So for those of us in the entertainment industry, and probably for you too, one of the most exciting times of the year is that magical time from January to March known as award season, when we get to celebrate all of the hard work and accomplishments of the entertainment industry. There seems to be an award show for almost everyone, so this week I'm going to be going over some of the highlights and talking to you about what we can expect for this year's award show season. It all begins with the People's Choice Awards in January, and it's a really great award show because you get to see the people of music, movies, and television sort of come together. Those three crowds that usually don't um, cross over that much come together and really just have fun. And another one, um, other great highlights for this year's award season are the Golden Globes and the SAG Awards. Um, they're really important because they sort of set the trend for who's going to probably be um, nominated and winning throughout the rest of the award season. If you've noticed, it's sort of the same people who are nominated for like a Golden Globe or a SAG that are nominated, you know, towards the rest and eventually for the ultimate Oscar um, award nomination win. Do you have to give out a special shout out to Emma Thompson um, for this year's award season in general. That lady has been having a ton of fun and we've been having a lot of fun with her. You know, it just goes to show there's no reason why you can't enjoy all those stuffy affairs. <laughs> award show season is also really exciting because there isn't any clear winner that's come out um, in terms of who's going to win the Oscars. Uh, it's usually because there are so many awards in these three months, people have a pretty good idea of who's going to be winning these awards by the end of it, but this year they have a lot of strong contenders. Two 2013 was a great year for movies, especially from fall and onwards. And we really just, no one's really sure can make a clear prediction of who's going to win, um, especially for Best Picture. It's a really contended category and it's going to be really exciting to see who gets it. Awards show season isn't really just for the movies, it's also for TV and music too. You have um, shows like the People's Choice Awards and the Golden Globes that honor TV as well as movies and then you also have the Grammys, which is really great. It's like a televised version of the best concert on earth with some of the really great collaborations. These awards show are just sort of showing more like celebrities sort of partying and having fun and you can really see that especially in the Grammys because they actually only give out about 10 actual awards in the telecast. Probably the biggest reason why people love award season is the fashion. You know it's what people are always tuning in to see who's wearing what on the red carpet and it's kind of the unofficial Fashion Olympics where all of the hottest designers sort of fight to dress the hottest celebrity and hopefully get on the best dress list of every celebrity show. It's always fun to see what the stars are wearing as they walk down the red carpet but it also um, sets fashion trends for the rest of the year. You know we can't all really afford a couture Dior gown but we can sort of be inspired by it. Let me know in the comments below who your Oscar favorite is and if you'll be watching the show on March. Be sure to look forward to our video next week, but until then, like this one, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.